Taylor Burning. You might not remember me because it's been like half a year since I did my last video. We moved to a new house last fall and uh, now it's almost summer. It's the uh, end of May and uh, finally we finished making uh, renovations on our house. And uh, we have a new floor in the living room. The whole house got this new wonderful floor, a new kitchen, a new paint and everything. And this room in here um, next to the living room has a small window up there and it has, well, it has a big door there, has a small window up there. And so if you sleep in here, you're gonna put the curtains down and then you only have two small windows. So my wife said, well, we're not gonna use this room for anything. So Peter, why don't you just take this room and build your cockpit in here? And I was like, all right, thank you, wife. Uh, of course I will, love that. It's pretty wide, it's four meters almost. So I hope at some point I'll be able to build a curved screen here with uh, two beamers in the ceiling and uh, perhaps get even a 180 degrees view around. The cockpit is over here. And it's been there for been there for half a year. Here's the back of the main instrument panel. That's the pedestal, some computers, window frames. You can see two overhead panels here and a uh, throttle handle, some side walls, and two boxes of wires, and more computers, and more wires. I'm gonna try and install these speakers as um, as the engine, so I get a good rumble out of them. I've reached the milestone uh, just a few minutes ago because uh, I've made this piece of uh, structure, which is the frame for the cockpit. Over there, two pieces of plywood, they're painted gray. That one is painted on the back side. Uh, and they're gonna go on top here in a few seconds. And that's gonna be the frame for my cockpit shell. I'm gonna build a shell. And um, that means I'm gonna have a nose section up here. Here, it's gonna be a nose section windows and then you sit around here and the main instrument panel will be just about here so all the weight of the cockpit is going to be in this part and that's why i've placed the wheels in front half a meter back because i don't really need there's not going to be any load up here it's all going to be down here it's on wheels so that uh, i can move it if i need to, uh, to build something whoops sorry about that easily to move around uh, if I need to do something on the side or when I need to make, uh, ho hopefully make the curved wall, I can move it so that uh, it, it isn't in the way. The wheels, um, I'm going to place them on some plastic because I just moved this one a few minutes ago and uh, it's already left the mark there. So I better clean it up before my wife get home, gets home. But I'm going to put some plastic uh, below so it doesn't leave marks on the brand new floor here. There are each... Uh, can each take 100 kilos and I thought if we're two in the cockpit uh, that's going to be the first like 160 kilos so that leaves around 200 to 250 kilos for the structure I hope that will be sufficient I have no idea how much this weights when finished so the floor is going on in a few seconds and then um, I'm gonna build the structure let's, let, let's see how that goes um, hopefully I'll be finished within 2017 right now it's May 17 and um, half a year I should be ready to go. I'm Peter from uh, Bilderberg you guys take care bye bye